In celebration of Asian Pacific American Month, Asia Store is showcasing the works of Asian American designers with a range of specialties, and today we're here to see a tea tasting. When you see someone really tasting tea for the first time, that's like a really cool thing to be part of that moment for someone else. All the different people we presented our teas to, a lot of them, their first reaction was like, oh my god, I didn't know tea could taste like this. Today's tea tasting is hosted by Charlene Wong, the founder of Tranquil Tuesdays, a Beijing-based company that offers a selection of China's finest naturally grown teas, which are sourced from carefully selected small family-owned farms around rural China, each specializing in just one type of tea. The mission of Tranquil Tuesdays is we have two different missions. One is to really showcase and introduce Chinese tea to new audience outside of China, really allowing people to have a chance to really taste how varied and different they are. Tea is very much like wine in that the terroir and the actual locale and the climate and all those things really contribute to how the leaf is going to grow and how it's going to taste. So different areas of China are specialized in specific types of tea that uniquely make that flavor. You could spend like a couple days just driving around that area looking for one type of tea. You want to see how they, how their tea is grown, you want to see the growing conditions, their storage conditions. I mean you really want to build a relationship with the person you're trusting to make this tea. And we just keep on trying until you realize, like, ooh, okay, this is a good one. Charlene was primed from a young age to appreciate food culture by her Chinese parents, who are avid foodies. At around eight years old, she developed an interest in British tea culture, which bloomed into a connoisseurship for teas of all kind. As I got older, I just spent more and more time looking for tea, always somehow finding myself at a tea store, a tea house, no matter where I went. And then I started traveling more and started living in Asia. I would spend a lot of my own time and money traveling to tea gardens because I thought that was fun. Finally, one time I was in um, Thailand. I spent the whole morning looking for a specific type of tea I'd read about. I was back at my friend's place. I was drinking it, so happy. And he was like, you should just start your own tea company. And I was like, nah. <laughs> But I have my own tea company. Tea has long been an integral part of Chinese culture, and loose Chinese tea is steadily gaining popularity around the world, even in countries without a strong predilection for tea culture. It's very difficult. The French are not very good tea drinkers, so we're a nation of uh, coffee drinkers more than tea. But uh, I appreciate it. I think those who drink tea appreciate it a lot. I appreciate tea of all kinds, black tea, green teas. Chinese teas are always, you know, have, always have a very good selection. So uh, that's uh, probably something that uh, needs to be done, is to work more on the French to appreciate tea. <laughs> Previously a U.S. State Department human rights officer, Charlene's tea business also operates as a social enterprise. Tranquil Tuesdays works with Chinese NGOs to hire, train, and support Chinese women from disadvantaged backgrounds. For more information from Sinovision English Channel, please visit us online at en.sinovision.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Lonnie Nelson.